So what's happening? Didn't you guys have an announcement? This is a little unexpected, but we are in a throuple. Let me tell you what's progressive now. Being alone. I love my life. I love my freedom. I love my independence. That's kind of sad. That I don't want to be in a throuple. I don't even want to be in a couple. You met a guy? I don't think I'm his type. He's like gay Tom Brady. I'm down for whatever. Yeah, I can do whenever and I can do whatever. Cool. Whatever, whenever. GIF of Michael Scott dancing. Office GIF? This person isn't gay. Okay, so I have a very fancy way of asking this question, but for the sake of time, I think I'm just going to get straight to it. Get to it. Can you describe the pride that you feel with this movie? Um, it's very exciting, you know, this movie is long overdue from a major Hollywood studio, the first gay rom-com ever released by a major Hollywood studio and releasing it in 3,000 theaters all over North America. We really have never seen anything like that. The whole cast is openly LGBTQ, even in the straight roles, which we never see. But above all, you know, the thing I'm most proud of is that it's a movie that really makes people laugh out loud from start to finish. Yeah, how does it feel to be a part of history, Luke? I mean... <laughs> It's incredible. I mean, yeah, I'm just grateful that people are laughing and all kinds of different people are laughing. I brought my mother to the premiere at TIFF and she laughed so hard. And I, of course, was terrified that she was just me very freaked out about seeing her son in some compromising oh sex scenes. Okay, we got to talk about New York because when you think about the fact that New York is the setting for so many rom-coms, like, it is hard on these streets. Yeah. But why did New York need to be the place? I grew up in New York City, I grew up in Queens, went to high school in Manhattan. But I also grew up going to see all these classic romantic comedies that were always set in New York when Harry Met Sally and Annie Hall and Moonstruck and Working Girl and Tootsie and the list goes on and on. And I love all of those movies and still do, but there were never any gay people in them. So there was a moment we were shooting bros on the Upper West Side, walking in Central Park, just like they do in When Harry Met Sally, and I thought, wow, we're getting to do this and we have a real budget and it's being shot beautifully, but we get to do it as a gay male couple and gay actors, and that's a very rare experience and it was really magical and I was very grateful. I got a little game we're gonna end with, Billy okay. on the Street style, okay? So Let's it's everything it. I either pull directly from the movie or inspired by the movie. Okay, favorite movie of all time? Uh, Annie Hall. Favorite rom-com of all time? Uh, broadcast News. Rom-com character you're most like? Holly Hunter in Broadcast News. <laughs> <laughs> rom-com crush. Uh, Richard Gere. There you yeah. go. Describe your dating life so far. Oh, challenging, I guess. Here's the thing about rom-coms, right? So we love to pull lines from these rom-coms and they will live on forever and ever and ever. Mm. If there was one you would both choose from bros, what would it be? Hey, what's up? <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's the most relatable part of the movie. It's like the most ridiculous way that we've all chosen to communicate is over our phones saying nothing. nothing. But sometimes when we're saying nothing, we want to say so much more.